Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if your Mozilla Firefox web browser is coming across an error and it specifically says that your browser is being managed by your organization. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So all you have to do is open up the start menu, type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T, Best result should come back a registry editor. Go ahead and right click on this and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, like always, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Export range, keep that at all, and then save it to an easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you'd have to do is select File and then Import and find the file from wherever you saved it on your computer initially. So again, pretty straightforward process. And now we are ready to begin. So you're going to start by double clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing for the Software folder now. Locate Policies, double click on the Policies folder. And then there should be a Mozilla folder under here. Double click on that. Firefox, double click on that too. And then finally, there should be a certificates folder. So if you want to just take note of our file path, you can see it up at the top of the registry editor here. Each backslash is a different subfolder we've gone under to get to this point. So now what you want to do is just go ahead and right click on this registry value in here, import enterprise roots. Go ahead and right click on it and select delete. Select yes. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and close out of here, restart your computer, and that error message should go away. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.